everyone, this is Tony from Blue Butterfly Creations and today I'm going to show you how I made this very um, pretty fall vintage looking card using some die cuts with the view paper and the Colonial Fall Stamp from Impression Obsession. So to get started, I have my Impression Obsession Stamp and I actually have the clean version. The number is H. 1013 and this is called Colonial Fall. I have that mounted on my acrylic block. I have four of these dewdrops and these are the orange ones from the Halloween dewdrop collection and I have them already backed with some Zots for bling. I have a piece of ivory cardstock cut to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. I have some Memento Rich Cocoa Ink right here. I have my Distress Ink tool and some of the Distress Ink from Tim Holtz in tea dye. I have my card base which is five and a half by eight scored to fold in half so that the front will measure four by five and a half. I have some vintage brown um, coordination paper that is cut to four by five and a half. I have this piece of die cuts with the view fall paper that I got from the 2011 stack and this is cut to three and three quarter by five and a quarter. I have a second piece of the vintage brown. This is cut to three and a half by five. Now I'm going to get started. So I'm going to take a piece of that ivory cardstock. Again, this is cut at three and a quarter by four and three quarter. And my stamp. I'm going to ink it up with that rich cocoa. Ink it right up here. Making sure it's well inked. Flip it over. I'm going to go straight up and down. Centered. Okay. So there is my image. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take my distressing tool and some of that ivory cardstock that I just stamped, ink it up, and I'm going to and some scrap paper to put underneath. I'm just going to go around the edge starting far enough out and then coming in because I just want it to be like a halo around to fill in the empty space of the stamped image. So I'm going to do that. Very gently. Alright. I had actually already previously inked this. But there is that, and you can see that light halo around the stamped image. Next, I'm going to adhere that to the coordinating size brown paper. Right centered. There we go. Then I'm going to take over my other two pieces. I'm going to adhere my pattern paper to the other piece of brown. Like that. Then I'm going to take that um, stamped image, flip it over. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that. Now I'm going to place it at a slight angle because it will just barely fit within the border. I'm making sure that this top left corner lines up with the edge of the pattern paper along with the bottom right corner. And then my top right and bottom left, I'm going to make sure they're centered on the pattern paper so there's a little bit 
pattern paper on either end of the corner. I actually got to try lining this up again here. There we are. Now I'm going to take those dew drops that I've already put adhesive on. I'm going to place them into the corners of the ivory cardstock just for a little fun bling. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my card base, I'm going to apply adhesive. To the front, close to the seams, and along the edge, just like that. Okay, I'm going to put my card front right on that fold seam, making sure it's centered, and then pressing down. There we go. And there is a very quick and easy Impression Obsession vintage looking fall or Halloween card. Thank you for joining me at bluebutterflycreations.blogspot.com.